All right, and on to our next topic. Okay, I have a question. Well, here's a thought. All right, if Ezra Miller and Ben Affleck, if they both support the Snyderverse, and if they're down for the restore the Snyderverse, why in the world are they doing a movie, um, the Flash movie, and is word around the campfire that the Flash movie is supposed to erase all the events from Man of Steel, Batman versus Superman, um, the Justice Justice League, and um, Zack Snyder Snyder Cut. Okay, why even do the movie if you're Ezra Miller and Ben Affleck if you support the Snyderverse? Because if you supported the Snyderverse, when you shouldn't you not do a Flash movie that's gonna erase those events? I get it. I understand that. Hey, they're, they're actors. They're starring in the movie and stuff. But I mean, sometimes you got to take a stand, right? You got to take a stand, right? I mean, if you, you know, I would think that would help them get uh, um, that would increase the probability of us maybe getting the Snyderverse restored. If Ben Affleck and Ezra Miller choose not to do a Flash movie where the events in that film will erase the Snyder cut. Right. I mean. I mean, I'm not sure what type of power Ezra Miller has, okay? But here's the thing. We, we like him as Flash. We like him as the Flash. And they're not about to replace him. I don't think so. Here's the thing. Um, I do like Grant Gaston, the Flash, on the WB series. I love him. I think he's a brilliant actor. And it took me a while to warm up to Ezra Miller, okay? Because I'm like, why couldn't they just cast Grant as that, at that role? But the thing about it is, is this, all right? Ezra has grown on me. And... I like him as the Flash, okay? I don't want to see him get replaced. All right, now, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, from my understanding, he has a little bit of power in, I mean, I think he's, a, I'm not sure if he's a producer on the Flash movie, but he was listed as a producer on the Justice League movie, and rumor was he's supposed to be able to direct his own Batman movie, okay? So, here's the thing. Hey, man, why, why do a movie where it's going to erase the events of your previous movies in the Snyderverse. Why even do that? All right. I mean, I doubt they're going to try to replace um, Ben Affleck's character. Well, unless they decide to go with Robert Pattinson. But for a lot of people, I've been hearing this for a lot of people. To them, Ben Affleck is the best Batman. OK, I like him as Batman. But for me, until he does his own solo movie like Michael Keaton, like George Clooney, like Val Kilmer, like Christian Bale, until he gets his own solo Batman movie, I can't put, I can't put him up there with those. I can't put him above those actors. All right, like I say, you, you're teaming up with Superman. Okay, it's just like, hey, you know, you're playing with Michael Jordan or you're playing with LeBron James on your team. So of course you're gonna succeed as much as you can possibly succeed in that situation. But aha, uh, how good can you be on your own? And I actually believe that Ben Affleck would be a, would make a dope ass um, Batman solo movie, whether if he directs it or not. I would like to see him direct it because he's a very good director and writer. Let him have control over it. Let him do his thing on it. All right. But why, you know, why start in a movie that's going to erase the Snyderverse then? All right. Now, I'm not sure what his contract obligations are. And I understand that. Get your money. Get your bread. I will never encourage anyone to not get their money legally but what i'm saying is is that you one one way you, you know on one end you're promoting the snyderverse restore the snyderverse but the other end like you're doing something that's literally gonna help not restore the snyderverse so it's a walking contradiction right but um but who knows maybe it's a situation where if ben affleck does the flash movie he gets to direct his own batman movie so who knows i don't know I don't know. I'm just asking a question here. So let me know. Please comment below whether or not if you think that Ezra Miller and Ben Affleck should hold out on the Flash movie if it's going to erase the Snyderverse. Should they do it or should they not do it? You can get with this or you can get with that. This or that. What do you think? Comment below. Hit the like button and the subscribe button.